on, rip here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to solo Crescendo of the Blood Moon. This is the fifth quest that's been added to Rec Room, and it's a very fun quest. Now, I know that there's a lot of talking in the community about S+, and when you actually Press solo... The button on the scoreboard to play. When you actually solo Crescendo, there's actually a chance that you will get S+. By chance, I mean it, because sometimes if you fall into, like, spikes or into a trap, that will count as a death. Now, you only get three deaths, and people say that you can get four if you collect a lot of silver. I'm not going to be collecting any silver, but yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay. So, what I like to do first is grab the two shovels that spawn up here. And also, please note, smashing pumpkins and things will give you extra silver if you ever want to Anyway, once you've killed them three pumpkin spices, another two will spawn in. Once you've killed one of them two, two Right. Now, once you're done, on this on this stage, I like to go for these two pumpkins. I feel like going up there. And then there's, and then I like killing this bomb lead. Oh, maybe there's a bat over here. Sometimes the bats will spawn somewhere different. You can just get them in different orders, but you know, I'd advise him for the bomb lead. Anyway, once so many was dead gonna be two more flying bats but we're gonna be calling them green bats and one more bomb lady and you've killed her then there's gonna be four skeletons down here but once they're dead there's gonna be another two then there's gonna be a bone lady and a and three pumpkin spices So, once you've killed the enemies, I like to just like, you know, stock up. You can get all the chests if you want, but I'm not. Anyway, once you've killed this bone lady, another... Oh god, my weapon. Another two purple bats will spawn in. Anyway, once you kill these, or just go a little bit deep, deep it in, then there's going to be three pumpkin spices. Now you can get them pretty simply. Just a few whips. Now, it's gonna be now once you kill them, it's gonna be one bone lady and three pumpkin spices. So, what I like doing is staying far back so the bone lady can't hit me, and then killing the bone lady last. Now once she's dead, well all of them dead, there's gonna be more, another, another bunny, more, more pumpkin spices. Anyway, once you kill them enemies, there's going to be three green bats. But once you've killed them, then, then you move them to the carriage stage. Now, the carriage stage is pretty easy. It, it, it's kind of like Remain one of the cool BO, BO levels. That's what I'm referring to. But these are pretty easy. It just depends if you can actually do it all. Everyone always, some people say that they struggle in this part, but I don't. I think it's pretty simple. Anyway. Like I said, there's still, like, chests. You can grab them up if you want. The only time I'll be picking up chests is when I need to get the flint back, which I will be needing soon. Anyway. Now, I like waiting these enemies out, so then they actually try ramp into me, and then just back off. Because then you can actually get the full kill on them. But anyway. Once all the pumpkin spices and werewolves are dead, then there's going to be three green bats. But once you've killed two of the bats, then there's going to be uh, another green bat and three pumpkin spices. Sometimes they will get stuck. Anyway. So, I like, you know, that sometimes they do get stuck, which is good, but it's also. Okay, anyway. Now, once some enemies are dead, there's gonna be two pub bats down here. 
No. You can kill them anywhere you want, and there's that, so pretty easy to take down. Anyway. What you done with them enemies? There's gonna be two more purple bats, and it's gonna be a werewolf and a pumpkin spice, so. Now I'd advise that you try taking out the bat before you do. Do all of that, but I uh, but you know you can go any different angle. Anyway. Once you've killed nearly if you leave one left, then there's gonna be two more bats, green bats, and there's gonna be more more pumpkin spices, so two more pumpkin spices, and a werewolf. But like I said earlier though, the werewolf does get stuck. Well most of the enemies do get stuck too there. Too. So wait for them to come around. Nearly dead. Right, there you go. So now, once you've done this part, you're on the courtyard. Now, the courtyard's pretty simple. It introduces the shooters, and I'm going to show you how to Right. So, for this bit, there's a shooter. You can just take him down. Now, if you actually do the red whip, as you can see there, that will kill him one shot. If it's white, then it won't kill him one shot, see? So try to get the one one hit whip. It's really useful. Anyway, moving on. Once you kill down enemies and go forward, there's gonna be two more shooters. Then as soon as you kill them, there's gonna be two werewolves. Now, if you just make sure that they can't really do that much. Can you say? Now, once you kill them enemies, there's gonna be two pumpkin spices up, up, over here. They normally, sp they don't spawn up on the bridge, they spawn normally there. But for some reason they've managed to walk up to the bridge. But anyway, once them enemies are dead, there's gonna be two shooters. They'll start spawning in slowly, but I'd advise you to do it straight away. Anyway, once they're dead, there's going to be another shooter, and if you start walking forward, there's going to be pumpkin spices, I think there's like four of them, and then there's going to be a shooter, as you can see in that little corner. Now that's why I'm hiding behind you. Now once you kill all the pumpkin spices, another shooter will spawn in, so make sure you're careful with them. And then after a little while, more werewolves will spawn in. So, once some enemies are dead, you can move on. So this is the final part before you go down to the ground tool. The first checkpoint of the whole quest. So, what I like doing is just keeping away from the enemies. Anyway, now, I would advise you to take down the shooter, and then you start killing the pumpkin spices. As the pump, as you can go up here, and the pumpkin spices won't be able to hit you. Anyway, once you kill the pumpkin spices, there's going to be one shooter, and, and, and there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies. So I always make sure you keep a safe distance away from them, as they will be trying to come and run up on you. Now, like I said, keeping a fair good distance is good. And, like I said, be careful with the bones. Because the bones are one hit. It's like everything in this quest. So. Anyway. When you kill these enemies. Uh, you will see like a blue light. That means you've killed all of them. And then you've got to put your whip onto here. Bring it up. Now it's going to be three pumpkin spices and two bone ladies. Like I said in the past. Bone ladies aren't really that much of a big deal. So that's why I would buy skin them later. Yeah. Once they're dead, you complete the first part. Now you can loot up the whole grand tool, but I'm gonna go go forward. So when you're going forward, you're gonna be going down to the gallery. Now the gallery is where the first mini boss is going to be, which is going to be the bone lady, just really big and stronger. And, the, and this time you actually need to be more careful. Anyway, once you kill these enemies, I like to go forward 
Enough to kill the shooter. And then I like hiding behind it. As I can hide behind it, the the bone lady won't be able to hit. But and then when the these bats do come over here, sometimes they'll gl get glitched and they'll just die. Anyway, make sure you kill the shooter. Back here. Like I said, the bat will die. There's going to be two bats on that part. So now for this part, I like going forward, killing the bat. Uh, sorry, the bone lady. And then I let these enemies chase me down to here. Then I can start hitting them. Now, now a whole cluster of enemies are going to be spawning in. I think around about like four pumpkin spices, uh, two swoops, and two green. Green bat. I think that's something about it. Something, something like that. Oh, never mind, it's three, three of them, sorry. Only three pumpkin spices spawn in. Anyway, moving on, there's gonna be the boss battle. There's gonna be the main boss. I'd advise that you run back straight away. Okay. Now, if you move back a little bit, she's gonna start getting stuck on there. So I advise that you can take some hits on her before she can move forward. Anyway. Now, also, like I said, swoops are a big deal. And you've got to be taking extra precautions with them. That's why I take this shovel. It's a one hit kill for them. There's gonna be a whole bunch of bats, pumpkin spices. So just start hitting them with your whip. Some will spawn in that corner, some will spawn up here. Right anyway. Once they're dead, you've done it. Well done. That is the first mini boss. Now, moving on. Here is the chamber of our oh, mobs. So this is where the second mini boss is going to be spawning in. Now with the mini bosses as well, they do drop a lot of silver. I will be grabbing up that silver because you know I buy like apples or something like that. Anyway, once you kill all them enemies, a uh, shooter will spawn up here. No, like I said, there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies now. I think three pumpkin spices or something like that. And then it's going to be a bunch of bats and annoying enemies. Anyway. Anyway. Once you've killed a few of them, you don't actually have to kill all of them. More enemies are spawning. Well, two shooters and uh, some more bats and pumpkin spices. Now, sometimes the uh, purple bats, when they're charging up and they're swooping, sometimes they will get glitched. And also sometimes there's a few bats that get stuck here for some reason. Mainly this green one, I don't know why, this green one's always here. Anyway, moving on. This part's pretty simple. So you're fine. Anyway. Moving on. Once you've um done all this. Now there is a whole bunch of things on here. There's also a secret button, it would reveal three chests. Like I said, you can pick them up if you want. I'm only going to pick them up for the shovel. Also, I'll be careful. Because this isn't like Isle of Lost Skulls when, when you open up a chest and you can start spamming it. I would advise that you wait. Because sometimes you can get one of and they will win the game. Anyway, there's going to be two pumpkin spiders after you kill one of them. There's going to be two of each bat. No, one of each bat, sorry. And a pumpkin spicer. Anyway, once you kill them, also there's a secret button over here, so that opens up. But anyway, I'm just gonna go for it. Now, I like being up here, 
Because a lot of enemies will spawn in now. I think like a pumpkin spice, a bone lady, a green bat, and a purple. Oh no, it's a purple bat. Sorry. Two purple bats. Now, like I said, though, some of the enemies will glitch out and hide, like hide. But I will be showing them where, where they will be going. When you kill them enemies, they're gonna be a whole bunch of shooting. But don't worry, this is only the second wave. So I'd advise always taking down the shooters as they will be very annoying later on. Because if you keep them up, then they're going to try killing you later on and... It's better to just get to them out. Anyway. Once you've killed all of the enemies, there's going to be two other shooters. Two bone lead... Oh, no. Two shooters, one bone lead. So taking down them. Like I said. There you go. Okay, anyway. Right, anyway. Once you've taken down all the enemies, it's gonna be like another book thing where you gotta like you know find the book. Push your back, so. Just a heads up, sometimes a pumpkin spicer gets stuck over like here. I'll be careful of that. And also sometimes a bat could get stuck down here. So I'd advise always having a shovel or any anything, any melee with you. Anyway, once you kill any enemies. You just gotta like, click this book and then tap here and go forward. This is where the second mini boss is gonna be. Now what I like doing is going up here. This is pretty far away from the enemies. Also there was a new update where enemies actually spawn over there instead of just over here. So I've advised always to keeping tabs. They're pretty easy enemies, but sometimes there are shooters, which they will try killing you. Anyway. This is random where they spawn, so okay. Anyway, moving on to the boss. The boss is pretty easy. He shoots five times, so that's why I'm behind this pillar. Because when he starts aiming and he's going to start shooting, then I'll hide behind this pillar. Dodge his bullets and just start hitting him again. This in my opinion is the best method to kill him. Because you're very, very safe. Anyway. Just some whip whip shots with him in. Also dropped 400 silver. Unlike the other boss where she dropped, I think, 100. Anyway. Hide up here, there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies, like last time. I'll be careful because sometimes the, uh, these enemies can glitch out and do that. But I'll be very careful. Anyway, once you're done, grab the silver and go ahead. So. Now, moving on, uh, this is the graveyard. The graveyard or Guardians Garden of Sorrow, some people actually call it, and it is the proper name of it. Sometimes people uh find this one hard, but it's actually pretty easy. It's just it will take a lot of time to do because your glitch is your whips glitched and also the enemies take ages to come over. Anyway. I've seen these enemies. This is what I normally do, you know, take out the pumpkin spices and walk forward, kill the whatever they're called, shooters. Anyway, I like going over there, getting the early kill on the bone ladies so it saves a bit more time. And then wait for these enemies to come. I like to wait here just because it's pretty reasonable safe. Prison pretty reasonable safe. But sometimes enemies will get past. Many of these swoop purple bats, whatever you want to call them. 
Now, there will be shooters, that's why we're not going forward, and it will take a little while. So when you're here, you can just go onto your watch, something like that, and just go and enjoy your time here. Until more enemies start coming over. This is the longest part of the quest, in my opinion, because this one takes ages to do. As, it, as some of the enemies actually do glitch at the back. But you will need to kill later. Alright. Just gonna have a quick peek, make sure they're actually coming. Like I said though, some of the enemies I've got do get stuck. So if you have to, just go over there and give them a quick beat in. Now as more enemies start spawning, I advise that you run back over here. Because you know some people sometimes they will actually need a kick. As you know, they do take a little while to come over and I think it will take ages if you just wait here, so I'd advise just going forward. But each, most, each level, apart from the first levels, have enemies. Ah, uh, me bosses, sorry. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the enemies. Anyway, once they're dead, you know, so there is actually a little easter egg over here, you can actually tap his hand. More enemies spawn in, you know, well, not more, just one. That's really it. Anyway, moving on. Now, at the start, it's going to be two shooters, so I, I always take down the bottom one first, and then I try taking down the top, the top one. No, anyway, once you kill them, it's going to be three pumpkin spices. So once you've killed them, there's going to be two bottom ladies, two pumpkin spices. I advise that, you know, go and kill them. And once you've killed them, I like to run back over to here, as some of the enemies will start coming over, and also there is some that spawn over here, but I like to get the first kill on. Okay, as soon as you kill them enemies, more enemies are going to spawn over there, but there's going to be some a lot over here. Now, this includes a shooter, the shooter was the main reason why I used to come over here. Now, I'm just gonna wait back here and just kill it more. Right. Now, once you're done with this part, now. This is where the boss will spawn in. So what I like to do is go forward. As soon as an enemy starts spawning, run backwards. Now, you can kill a few of the enemies over here first before the boss spawns in, which when the boss spawns in, I run back. Like I said though, you can definitely get a few hits on the enemies first before need them to go backwards. Anyway, I'm gonna start going backwards now. Now, getting a few hits on him before he comes over to you is always good because, you know, it means he's weaker. Also, just keep the process a little bit. Now, the reason why we actually go back is because of all the enemies that's going in. I wish I 
building. Right. Now, this, uh, this boss will drop 200 silver. Not as much as last bosses, but it's always something. No? Anyway. No, just keep hold of the enemies. Keep trying to kill them. I think these might be the final two, maybe. There you go. Now, we're just done with this part. It's time for, in my opinion, the hardest. This is the longest part, and the next bit is going to be the hardest. This next part is the inverted ballroom. Now, the inverted ballroom is definitely beatable, but it's very hard. So, I'll always be careful to you guys. So what I like to do, is start, start the enemies off, I come down here, now I'll run back down here as there's two shooters that will try to snipe you. The reason why I go back here is so then I can get the perfect whip on these enemies that spawn in. I think there's like either three or two green, green bats and then there's going to be a bone lady. There she is. Anyway, did you kill them? There's gonna be more enemies spawning where they were, and then there's gonna be some enemies that spawn up here. Now, if it gets too rough, I'll just advise to go over here. And also, there will be a few pumpkin spiders. I think two. I can leave enough one spawn over right here. Anyway, like, it, like last time, just hit the funny button maybe. And then, I like to go over here, kill these. Mainly focus on the bone for her, as she is the main problem, and she will actually try hitting you with her bones, because she's the only one who can hit you, not shooters, when you're down. Anyway, I like to go forward and move back, as there's two snipers that spawn back here. Um, and because also, these pumpkin spices could sneak up on you when you're trying to kill the snipers. Anyway, once you kill them, two snipers would be over here. Once you kill them, there's going to be like two pu pumpkin spices and one bone maybe. And there'll also be two werewolves. Which if you stay up here, they won't be able to go up that way. Also, there will sometimes be chests that spawn over here. There's, I think up to two. Like I said, don't run the chugs. If you're like trying to spam the silver when it first comes up, then you're going to be screwed. Anyway. I'll just go forward and run backwards. Now this part is going to take a little, little long, you know? It's it's always good to be safe in these type of quests where you've got to solo them, if, especially if you're going for the S+. Because if you're going for the silver, then you're fine because you can just, like, you know, die. Continue where you where you were from. Apart from you won't get the extra 15,000. Yeah. I think I was told if you start, no, if you continue, sorry, from where you first, le well, from where you left off, you automatically get in a C rank, which I don't think anyone really wants, you know? But anyway, once you kill the enemies and you know that you killed them, because you come over here and there's none, you got, this is the hard part, you got to go forward and kill some of the enemies. Now, now you might be telling yourself it's going to be a bit hard, it is, as you can tell I'm still not pro at this. Now once you kill them enemies there's going to be some more, I like to get the early hit on him but sadly enough he didn't die so I'm just going to take the finishing shot off him, and money fell in. Anyway, be very careful as these snipers will try to snipe you, obviously it's their job. But run back up here as there will be some more enemies that will walk over to you, which are very annoying. Like I said, just wait, it will take a little bit of patience, but this is worth it. I think some of them are bats, so some of them will be getting stuck, but most of them are pumpkin spices. Now the thing is with the bats though, they will get stuck in some parts, so you've got to be very careful. 
and now once you kill the, the final enemies, here is the box. Now with the box, she's pretty simple. The way that you don't die is that she, she will always aim for your head, but the only way to die is if she hits you in the head. So you can just jump over her bullets like that. So I'm going to start Lorna over here. She's like the angry bird from Bone Trophy or the big purple robot from Geometron. Now please note sometimes she will glitch out like this. A lot of the bosses will do. Now please take it, it's very annoying but we at least got to try you know still. If it comes to it, let's try shooting her. But there will be um, some of these enemies that will be coming. I think it's mainly bats, so I'd be very careful while I was just... The shovels also, I don't know if I said this, but the shovels will save your life. No. Keep trying to kill her. As soon as she starts moving, then start moving too. It's like here. Now this is very risky, like I said. And she will be moving a lot, but she's very easy to counter. Now. Now. She does do that. And this is the best way to kill her, in my opinion. Now, this is the time to be very careful. This is why you need a Dem Flint off. Because you need to snipe them. Now with these, they used to take so many hits to kill. Now luckily, now they're just one hit the gun, so you don't need to get a headshot on them. Anyway. Some bats will get shot down here. So be very careful. Now, once you're done with that, get up here. And well done. You have completed, basically, the hardest part of this. And the best way to know that you're actually certain that you've won this is to complete that. Once you've completed that, literally it's just this and the boss. Now, I understand you might screw up on the boss, but the boss is pretty easy. So anyway. You will be needing to grab the torch. I nearly forgot about that, but you grab the torch and just take it. With you. So once you've done, like you know, done a few walk-ins, there'll also be some more chests down there. So be careful if you need them. Now these arrows, they will kill you. So I'd be very careful with them, as you. Anyway, I'm just gonna be very careful with these. Anyway, once once I've done that, you can literally wait here. Sometimes you'll be lucky and do that. That is, that would be good if you're speed running. That'd be very lucky. I know this part. Well, I think even if you do speed run, if there's if you're allowed to glitch and speed run, you're good. Anyway, these axes are pretty easy. It's gonna time them right. Once you've done that, now sometimes you can actually run really fast and do this. Now the thing is with this level, people always tell tell me, why don't you skip the level now? Here's the thing, if you're speedrunning and you're allowed to, you know, do glitches to help it, help the speedrun, you can go and do that. But the problem is, if you're going for S+, plus, then you're going to need to, you know, do this part. That's the thing. No one understands that, when people moan when they don't get it.
because like all the times that like I'd always used to question like I used to even do it but then I'd always question why did I get S rank uh, like why didn't I get S plus you know but then I found out and then I you know actually stopped doing that now this part will be useful with flint knocks but if you don't it's still fine there's going to be two bone throwers, but sometimes they will walk over and be very stupid. No. I'm just killed them. Now there is um, a few chests down here if you want to grab them. I'm only going to grab them because I think I need the flint knock to start off the boss. I'm going to have to run straight away. In. All right. So this is the final mini boss. Like I said, he's a very hard one. So what I like doing is just shooting him once, and then just went from the combo. The thing is, sometimes you glitch will whip, uh, not whip, sorry, glitch and not like work fully, and it will get stuck on something like that. It looks like there's an invisible wall here. Maybe to stop the minute. If you aim low enough, then you will be able to keep it. Anyway, once you kill him, he's gonna drop 1600. Right there. And you have done it. Now you're on the boss. This is what matters. Because if you screw up on this part, then you've screwed up uh, literally the whole game. So, this part is pretty easy, but it is hard at the same time. So, what I would advise to do stay safe on this part by staying safe i mean if it feels like you're gonna die then just don't bother going doing something or whatever anyway let's go so you can grab a few chests if you want i'm only gonna grab them for like blunderbusts or whatever i'm gonna bring them up there because it's gonna be my hiding spot once i've shot down any enemies are coming up welcome it looks like we're the last ones here. I was beginning to think oh, you wouldn't well, make it with all those detours. Oh. <laughs> like I said about mine ah. here, it's good for Enough. the cannon. Have at you! Right. <laughs> Sometimes you will spawn in in random spots which aren't the best. But well, what you're hoping for the best is for him to stand in front of you. Now, if he does go near you, he will spawn in a dog and it will kill you. One hit. Now, that's the stuff that we just do. Once you've taken down, I like to go up here. Get down the bone thrower and the two pumpkin spices. Oh my god, I actually shot the wrong creature thingy. It's one of them. It's one of them. So like I said, blunderbusts are amazing. I think that one's him. Right, anyway, moving on. Like I said, I advise being safe, but I will take out all of the enemies as they will be coming back, and they will. Anyway, like I said, get up here, they won't be able to hit you, but I advise you need to get the wet ones. Now, if you're struggling to kill them, because, you know, they keep moving around. You can go and do this, and the werewolf will come back at you. Like I said though, I wouldn't advise to keep any of the enemies as... Well, kill any of the enemies that you don't need to kill, because that will spawn in more enemies, and more enemies means bad. Anyway, like I said... Do it. Right, anyway, once he's dead. 
Sometimes he will spawn in the worst places, but keep trying to kill him. They will literally do that. He will literally spawn at the wall. But once you've killed him, you have now just soloed Crescendo of the Blood Moon. So this is where we're gonna be leaving off here. Thank you so much for watching today. Really hope this video helped and I hope you all get S plus. It'll be nice if you guys can sub, turn on notifications as I, as I will be doing more videos and comment what quest you'd like help in next. And also what, what stream would you like to see? It's up to you guys. Now, see ya and have a good day. Bye.